Hello everyone, this is Sir Marvin Bertido. So for this video discussion, we are going to discuss the seventh lesson. So this is about the plastic limit and plasticity index. So for this topic class, we're going to discuss how to determine plastic limit, how to compute the plasticity index, no? and we're going to um, solve sample problems here. Okay, so we're now going to talk about the plastic limit of soil. So the plastic limit is defined as the moisture content in percent at which the soil crumbles when rolled into threads of 3.2 millimeter in diameter. So the plastic limit is the lower limit of the plastic stage of soil. So class, ito yung plastic stage ng soil. No? So yung lower limit niya ay ito, yung plastic limit. So, yan plus yung boundary no, uh, between yung plastic stage at yung semi-solid stage ng soil. And then, kung ito yung lower limit, yung upper limit niya naman, class, is yung ito, yung liquid limit no, nung plastic stage ng soil natin. Okay, so class, yung pag-alam natin nung plastic limit or yung pag-conduct natin ng plastic limit test, yan ay simple lang, okay, and pinaperform natin yan according dun sa procedure given by ASTM in test designation D-4318. So, plus ang ginagawa natin dito, yung soil sample na gagamitin pa din natin dito is uh, yung nag-pass through sa sieve number 40. Okay, so yung opening nun ay 0.425 mm. So, what we do is, uh, nilalagyan natin yun ng konting amount of water and then we mold that into... Um, ellipsoidal size soil mais or para siyang elongated soil pad, no? And then what we're going to do, class, we are going to roll that no? on a ground glass plate. Iro-roll yun natin yung, yung uh, elongated soil pad na yun, class, hanggang maging uh, thread siya, class, na yung diameter ay 3.2 mm. So, class, dun sa may discussion natin sa experiment, we actually mentioned na 3 mm yun, no? Pero yung exact class talaga is 3.2 mm. Ayan. So, class, hanggat uh, hindi siya nagka-crumble, no? Uh, na, kumbaga, na-roll natin siya into a thread of 3.2 mm. So, class, ang gagawin natin doon, class, i-re-remold natin siya and then i -re, re roll natin ulit hanggang maging thread ulit siya of 3.2 mm in diameter. So, uulitin natin, class, yung procedure na yun. We will remold it. We will um, re-roll it hanggang mag-crumble siya. Okay, so hanggat hindi pa siya nagka-crumble, uuulitin mo yung procedure na yun. I-roll mo siya ng i-roll. Okay? So, class, the moment na mag-crumble siya, no, i-record -re natin ngayon, class, yung, yung, leak, uh, yung moisture content or your, yung water content ng soil by that time. Okay? Na mag-crumble yung soil natin. Kasi, class, yung water content by the time na mag-crumble yung soil natin upon uh, repeatedly rolling it, no? So, class, yun yung magiging plastic limit natin. Okay? Okay. Okay, so, class, katulad sa pagdetermine natin ng liquid limit, okay, so, pwede rin natin, class, gamitin yung Paul Cohn method dito sa pag-obtain ng plastic limit. But in this case, class, different cone yung gagamitin natin. No? Similar yung geometry, pero... Uh, different yung mass niya. No? So, class, kung yung mass na ginamit natin ng cone doon sa liquid limit test using Paul Cone method, I think 0 0.78 newton. No? So, dito class 2.35 newton. So, dito mas mabigat no? yung, ano natin, yung kailangan na, uh, na cone. Okay, so 3 to 4 test class yung kailangan natin i-conduct at varying moisture content ng same soil. Okay, and then i-record -re natin din dyan class yung corresponding cone penetration. So, same with the uh, liquid limit determination. So, yung uh, cone penetration natin dito, class, it should be 20 mm no, para ma-determine natin or ma-obtain natin yung plastic limit. Okay, so, figure 4.9, ito yon yung figure 4.9. So, it shows the liquid and plastic limit determination of Cambridge gold clay reported by Roth and Wood. So, class, uh, yung ginamit na soil dito is Cambridge gold clay. So, ito class yung mga lumabas na resulta dun sa limit, uh, liquid limit test at saka plastic limit test. So, this is uh, using cone penetration no? or cone, full cone method. Okay, so mapapansin mo yung liquid limit uh, natin na flow curve, ito yun. So, yung mga points natin, ito, ito, ito. So, yan yung mga naging data dun sa liquid limit test na kinandak ni Roth at Wood. Tapos sa plastic limit test, yung mga points natin ay ito, ito, ito. 
So, yung flow curve natin para, para sa plastic limit ay ito. So, mga straight line yan ha. Yung flow curve natin para sa liquid limit and yung flow curve natin para sa plastic limit. So, to obtain the liquid limit at saka plastic limit, same lang class, kailangan 20 mm yung penetration. Okay, so in this case, kung gusto mong makuha yung liquid limit, so yung 20 mm na penetration, i-project mo lang doon sa flow curve for the liquid limit and then project it papunta doon sa moisture content. So yung magiging moisture content dito, yun yung magiging liquid limit. Okay, and then for the plastic limit naman, you just project also the 20 mm penetration papunta doon sa flow curve natin for plastic limit and then project mo papunta dun sa moisture content and then yung magiging moisture content natin dito, yun yung magiging plastic limit. So, you can notice here class na yung value ng plastic limit it is uh, less than the value ng liquid, lim uh, liquid limit. Right? So, ganun yun class ha, uh, talagang less than yan, yung magiging water content no, uh, dun sa plastic limit no, iba din yung magiging or mas mataas yung magiging water content kapag sa liquid limit. Okay. Ayan. So, that's how we ano, interpret din dito, no? Yung liquid limit at saka yung plastic limit. Okay. Okay. So, from the liquid limit and plastic limit class, we can induce an index. So, that is what we call plasticity index. So, the plasticity index, this is the difference between the liquid limit and the plastic limit of a soil. So, yung formula natin dyan class, yan ay PI nga is equal to LL, that is the liquid limit minus PL. So, yung PL yan yung plastic limit. Okay. So, class table 4.2 gives the ranges of liquid limit, plastic limit and activity of some clay materials. Okay. So, ito class ay mga different minerals. Okay. And ito yung mga usual class na uh, or typ typical values ng liquid limit nila, ng plastic limit at saka ng activity. So, class yung activity this is actually um, another characteristic ng soil. No? So, ito class ay nasa coarse material natin. So, merong um, uh, discussion para dyan, yung para sa activity. Okay, anyway, so class uh, Burmester classified the plasticity index in a qualitative manner as follows. Ito yung class. So, class uh, para sa PI na uh, mga values na ito, so let's say 0, so yung description ng soil na yung class ay non-plastic. Kapag 1 to 5, yung plasticity index, yan class ay uh, yung soil ay slightly plastic, 5 to 10, low plasticity, 10 to 20, medium plasticity, 20 to 40, high plasticity. Kapag yan class ay greater than 40, very high plasticity na yung soil natin. So that's how we interpret class yung plasticity index natin na to. Okay, and then the plasticity index, this is important in classifying fine grain soils. It is fundamental to the Casa Grande plasticity chart, which is currently the basis for the unified soil classification system. So, we're going to uh, discuss that sa mga further video discussions pa natin, class. Okay. Okay, so let's solve sample problem here. The following data shows the results of the plastic limit test. Determine the plastic limit. If the liquid limit is 45.30%, determine the plasticity index. So, this is the given data obtained from the plastic limit test. Okay. So, class, uh, the given here are the weight of soil or wet soil plus container, weight of dry soil plus container, and the weight of the container. So, class, itong mga data na ito na uh, ibinigay dito. Class, yan yung mga data... Okay, by the time na nag-crumble, okay, yung soil sample natin while we conduct yung procedure para don sa plastic limit test. Okay, so, class dito, uh, hindi pa given dito yung water content, no? So, tayo class yung magpo-compute ng water content, no? From this data. So, meron tayong dalawang uh, test na ginawa dito, class, dalawang sample, no? Or, uh, uh, yeah, test, no? Dalawang test. So, Class, from these two tests, kailangan natin i-determine yung plastic limit tsaka yung plasticity index. Okay. So, class, to determine the plastic limit, class, i-average lang natin yung water content, okay, nung lahat ng test natin. I-average lang natin yan. So, kailangan muna natin i-determine yung water content nung uh, test 1, tapos yung water content nung test 2, tapos i-average lang natin. So, yung water content na yun, yung average water content na yun, yun na yung plastic limit. Okay. So, class, para ma-determine natin dito yung 
um, water content natin. So, that is just weight of water over weight of soil solid. Now, in this case, uh, ito ay pwede rin na total weight or yung uh, weight ng wet soil minus yung weight ng soil solid or yung weight ng dry soil over W sub S or yun nga, weight ng dry soil or weight ng soil solid. Okay. So, in this case, class, yung weight ng ano natin, ng wet soil natin, Okay, so we can obtain that by subtracting the weight of container from the weight of wet soil plus container. And then, yung weight ng soil solid natin, that is just uh, weight ng dry soil plus container minus yung weight ng container natin. So, para dun sa uh, water content natin para dito sa test 1 natin, so uh, apply lang natin yung formula natin. So, yung weight ng wet soil natin, that is just 22.10 minus 13.07. And then, yung weight ng dry soil natin, that is just 20.42 minus 13.07. Over, uh, again, 20.42 minus 13.07. So, uh, if we solve this, so let's try inputting this in our calculator. 22.10 minus 13.07 minus quantity 22.10. 42 minus 13.07 over 20.42 minus 13.07. Ito class I 0.2286 no or 22.86% if we multiply this by 100. Okay, so that will be the water content for test number 1. Now for test number 2, so let's just solve this. So the weight of wet soil is 21.77 minus weight ng container which is 13.18 minus yung weight ng soil solid natin ay weight ng dry plus container 20.19 minus weight ng container. Okay, and then yung weight ng soil solid natin, same lang dito. So, let's input this in our calculator. 22.7 or 21.77 minus 13.18 minus quantity 22.18 or 20.19 minus 13.18 over 20.19 minus 13.18. Okay, so ito class ay 0.2254% or 22.54%. Okay, so class to determine the plastic limit, we're just going to solve the average water content. So that will just be weight sub 1 or water content sub 1 plus uh, water content sub 2 over 2. Okay, so yung First, water content natin, 22.86, and then yung second, 22.54. So, i-divide lang natin sa 2. Okay, so class, uh, yung plastic limit natin dyan ay 22.70%. So, yan na class yung sagot para sa plastic limit. So, that's just the average water content. Okay, now for the plasticity index, so the formula for plasticity index, that, that is liquid limit minus the plastic limit. So, the liquid limit is given. That is 45. This is 45.30, no? And then, uh, minus 22.70. So, that is for the plastic limit. So, this is just typo error, ha? This is 45.30. So, the plastic limit here, class, or plasticity index, rather, this is 22.6%. Uh, so, this is already the um, plasticity index. Okay, so these are the answers already, class, for this problem. That ends our discussion. So, see you again sa next video discussion natin, class. Araw tayo mabuti. Bye-bye. God bless.